Harley Davidson's biggest mistake. These bikes get newer, they have to conform just like the cars I have to work on every day, but this is just a pathetic situation for the bikes that we all come to love. Uh, this 2010 Alpha is getting ready to get a set of V&H headers and a set of slip on on top of that. Both, all my pipes are supplied by Bubba's Trace and Cycle out of Linwood, Michigan. Here's an 09 CVO Fat Bob that totally sounded like a scooter, wouldn't even describe it with its stock pipes. It's got a set of V&H Big Reds. Real important to me that a bike has some type of personality or tone. These things stock new, just don't do it anymore. Uh, what you end up with is a wall full of those. There's one hooker, one, two in the one that's worth a crap. The rest is stock exhaust. You keep pulling up bikes. Anybody in the market for stock exhaust can have it. Pretty easy installation. I've already pulled the slip-ons off. I had a set of E&H slip-ons I got right away from Bubbo because the bike was that quiet and that annoying. We're going to go ahead and stop make a little video how easy it is to convert these over. This is stock pipes right now. Uh, we can get these stock head pipes off and get the V&H pipes on. Hopefully give this thing a personality and it'll go out to New York in November and we're going to let Justin Barnes do his thing and get the bike a personality. Another problem, too many of the same color bikes. So you got to have something to denote what bike is yours. Uh, personality and attitude is everybody's own individual choice. Mine is not to look like everybody else. Um, Alright, we'll take a shot after we get these bad boys put on.